I grew up in a very um, politically charged home, full of social justice values, and um, started working in a place called Gordon House. I just loved it. It was, it was a crazy, wild place, 300 people. Had a lot of horrible things happening, murders and, and um, violent crimes, but there was also a lot of acts of wanton kindness by people. There were a lot of aged homeless people around and people saw them as being homeless and aged. Therefore, entirely appropriate that they should be at a homeless night service. And I said, well look, I don't think they are homeless and aged, I think they're aged and homeless. And that's a fundamental difference. They're aged, therefore they should be part of aged care funding. And it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, four walls and a roof. Um, we've had people that call home, you know, a park or because that's just where they feel safe and comfortable. Most people are in absolute crisis when we make contact with them. Um, uh, you know, a lot of them are just at a point where it's very difficult for them to make decisions. When I got in touch with Winteringham, I was introduced to Felicity, thank God, because since then she has been trying to help us as much as she can. I think the big change is really is that we can keep a person truly until stumps and we've gone backwards as well, gone into housing, so we can take people out a longer journey. We get them permanent housing, so not just short term, you know, here for a day, sort of gone tomorrow, they're there forever. Ever since I've been involved with Winnering, um, uh, I've, be, uh, I've begun um, to see hope, direction, and Winnering have provided me with that, that home base. You know, there is still people in the community who are in dire needs of being somewhere like Winteringham. The population of elderly homeless people are at risk is a hell of a lot wider than the bizarre old man that you see in the streets. It's a lot of people who are, who are mums and dads who played the local footy club, who, who made this country what it is, good or bad, who have fallen on hard times work with each resident individually identifying their interests, then we create a program around each resident individually. Our motto is options, rights, dignity, but that applies to residents and staff. I've got all the freedom I need, you know, I don't need anything else. I've got, to, I've got everything that I need. Great achievement. Long may it continue to grow.